Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. So now we are going to proceed on the continuous random variables. Okay. To calculate the expected value or mean, variance and also standard deviations. Okay now, we start with the expected value or EX. Okay, the formula is negative infinity over the positive infinity at time with the fx dx. Okay, this fx is the PDF. The function of PDF of the continuous random variable. Okay, then we have the variance. Okay, is equal to e x square minus e x. Then we have square. Okay, so your e x come from here. Okay, x times f x, and your e x square. Okay, is from infinity 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 x square times with the fx dx okay then we have the last one is the standard division okay or stdx okay is equal to the square root of variance okay uh, so this expected value of x, okay, we can use as this symbol. This means the mean, okay, and the variance you can use this symbol. And for the standard division, we use this symbol. Okay, so now we look at the example. Okay, so we look at these examples. Okay, this example is referred to the example 13. Okay, our previous example. So the question asks to find the mean and variance of x. So this is the function, the PDF, okay, of the continuous random variables. Okay, so now we are going to calculate the mean and also the variance. Okay, to calculate the mean, okay, let's say we have the mean or the expected value, okay, the formula. Okay, now this is the formula of the mean. Okay, if we look at this example, your negative infinity is your lower limit is equal to 0 and your infinity or upper limit is equal to 1 okay so start from 0 up to 1 then x times your fx is 2x so your x times with the 2x okay then you get 0 1 x square Okay, because x times your f, you get x squared, and your 2 is your constant. Okay, so we just integrate the variable of x. Then we get x power of 3 over 3. 1, 0. Okay, so we get, okay, substitute when your x equal to 1 into this function x power of 3 over 3 minus when your x equal to 0 so 0 power 3 over 3 then you get your answer as 2 over 3 so this is the mean now we are going to calculate the variance okay we know that the formula of the variance we can use this symbol is equal to e x square minus e x 
Okay, now this E X the mean or the expected value we already calculate here and we have 2 over 3 but we don't have the value of E X square. So the formula of E X square is equal to negative infinity times with the F X respect to the X. So our Negative infinity is 0 and 1. Our x squared times with our fx is 2x. Okay, again, our 2 is constant. So we just integrate the variables. Okay, is equal to 2x 4 over 4. Okay. And your upper limit is 1, your lower limit is 0. So your upper limit, when your x equal to 1, substitute into this function, minus with x equal to 0, substitute to this function. So we get 2 over 4 of 1 over 2. So, this is your E at square. Okay, now we want to calculate the variance. Okay, so E at square, we already have 1 over 2 and minus the X point, sorry, expected value of X square. So, expected is 2 over 3 square. And we have 1 over 18. Okay, now we proceed to the next example. So this example is referred to the example 14. Okay, so it is given, okay, our PDF, okay, we, your x value is between 0 and 1. Okay, so the question asks to find the mean and also the variance. Okay, to find the mean, okay, we have the formula x times with the fx. Okay, now we have the fx. Our fx is 6x minus x square. And your negative infinity is your 0 and your infinity is your 1. Okay. So, it's 0, 1, x. Okay, your fx is 6x minus x square. Okay, but your 6 is the constant. So, we just integrate the variables. Okay, so simplify. Okay, so it's equal to x power of 3 over 3 minus x power of 4 over 4 is 0 and 1. Okay, so it's equal to Six okay one minus three minus one four okay this one when your x equal to one minus when your x equal to zero then you will get your answer is equal to one over two so now we already get the mean so the second question is to calculate the variance to get the variance, we must get the value of E x squared. So, this is the formula. Okay. Okay. Our six is a constant.
with when your x equal to 0. So when your x equal to 0, power of 4, you divide by 4 minus 0, power of 5 divided by 5 is equal to 0. So it's equal to 3 over 10. So our variance A is equal to e x square minus with the mean. Okay, we should get one over two. We have to square, so we get one over twenty. 